I scream. You scream. We, we all scream, scream for ice cream. cream. We're here at 703 3rd Street in Winter Haven, Florida at Andy's Igloo. Andy's Igloo is open Monday through Saturday and serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They have the best ice cream I've ever tasted. As a matter of fact, Elias, Andy Ziglu won the Best People's Award from 2016 from the Ledger for the best ice cream in Polk County. Not only do they serve the best ice cream, they also serve burgers, milkshakes, and fries. This restaurant was first established in 1951. 1951? That's like... 66 years ago. Did you know that Poppy's family has owned this restaurant for the past 19 years? No, I didn't know that. But what I do know is that I want one of these burgers. I've been waiting all day for it. Come on, you're gonna love this place. Mmm, all this food looks delicious. So Elias, what were you thinking you were gonna get? I think we're gonna get the chocolate milkshake and, ooh, the steakette. That is the number one burger. How about you, Ellie? I think I'm gonna get the chili dog with french fries and my favorite, the peanut butter milkshake. Here's their milkshake menu now. What flavor do you think you're gonna get? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome, enjoy. Wow, this char-grilled burger looks delicious. I've been waiting all day for this. Mmm, I couldn't ask for anything better. These french fries are salted to perfection. Now I have to dig into my chili dog. Oh, and I almost forgot my milkshake. So what are you waiting for? Come on down this weekend or after school to Andy's Igloo. They have good food, great service, and the best ice cream and milkshakes in the entire world. When you're walking in the library and you need a good book, stop to the left and have a good look. There's no need to worry, there's no need to pout. There's a book for you, so come check it out. So, so many books to choose from, from. It's, it's so hard, hard to choose, choose only one. one. Come, come to, to the library, library it'll, it'll be fun. fun. There's Percy, Harry, and, and so, so much, much more. You can come, come to the library and explore. So many books to choose from, from. It's so hard, hard to choose only one. one. Come to the library, it'll be fun. When you're walking in the library, you need to do your homework. Go to the computers, don't make the smirk. When you're on the computer, don't be playing any games. Cause honey, homework isn't lame. My name is Elias. And my name is Ellie. Our rhymes, rhymes are, are fresher than meat from the deli. From the so deli. many things to choose from. It's, it's so hard, hard to choose only one. one. Come, Come to, to the library, library it'll be fun. Be fun. Good morning, Jam Champs. Today, we are going to be taking you on a field trip for fun activities that you can do in small groups or as a family. Yeah, we're going to be going to downtown Winter Haven to experience the Winter Haven rocks. Oh, I'm so excited to look for some rocks. Elias, are you ready? Oh, yeah. We've painted our rocks, we've labeled it, and now we're ready to hide them. Come on, let's go. Don't you just love it out here? It's so pretty. Yeah, it's a really beautiful day today. People all around Lakeland and Winter Haven have picked up on a trend that started in Vancouver, Washington. They would paint beautiful designs on rocks and place them somewhere in their area. These fun designs range from hearts, team names, and inspirational words. Fox News reports about 6,000 people in the Lakeland area hopping on this trend of hiding rocks outside of restaurants, businesses, and hiding places. If you happen to find one of these rocks, you can choose to keep it for yourself or hide it in another place for the next person to find it. Hey Ellie, I think we should split up and try to find some rocks. This feels like an Easter egg hunt. Well, bye Elias. I'll see you again later. Come on. I'm having so much fun finding all of these rocks. Hey, uh, here's another one. Oh my goodness, Ellie, you beat me to it. Hey, it has a book on it. Kind of reminds me of all the books that we have to have for our classes. That's a perfect timing to get right into what our classrooms are doing on subject by subject. Hey Ellie, think we should hide in there? Ooh, I think that's a great idea. We have three clubs that have been super busy this week. Our last rock to hide is the student spotlight rock. We found a lot of rocks today and it sure was fun. All the rocks we found we re-hit again in spirit of Winter Haven rocks. Hey, Ellie, I think we should check out Lakeland Rocks next. Lakeland Rocks? Their Facebook page has over 26,000 followers. We should all check it out. Well, Elias, I think it's time we should get back to school. That's all we have for today. Stay focused on your work. And do your very best. See, See you around, around campus. campus. I cannot do this. Elias, why are you freaking out? Well, I don't know how to write an intro paragraph. 
Well, you can't freak out during that test next week. Yeah, I know, but can you please help me with this intro paragraph? Okay, I think I have something that'll help you. All right. First off, tell me what kind of essay you're trying to write. Uh, I think it's explanatory. No matter what kind of essay you're trying to write, it should include a hook. Oh yeah, aren't hooks those things that you put in paragraphs to catch your reader's attention? Good job, Elias. Hooks can include antidotes, figurative language, imagery, and even facts about the topic. Well, I think I have two of those right now. All right, let me hear them. Have you ever viewed one of the world's most amazing archaeological wonders? Mm, I don't think I like that one. What do you mean? You used a rhetorical question. Rhetorical questions make your essay seem gimmicky and kind of corny. Well, that hurt. I have one more. Would you like to hear that one? All right, give me the best you got. Nestled between the Andes and the Amazon Basin is a historical site like no other. That was a great hook, Elias. You used wonderful imagery and good descriptive qualities. Well, thank you, Ellie. I think you should use that hook for the rest of your paragraph. All right. Ah, darn. Norm it. <clears throat> Elias, why does your backpack look so heavy? What do you mean? <clears throat> I think that's because it is heavy. What do you mean? It has all the essentials to life. All right, backpack inspection, open up. Why are you snooping around in my backpack? Why do you have a stuffed animal in here? Um, I get lonely. You have tons of friends, like me. Okay, stop. Who would need a soup can and a spatula? Well, you put the soup in a bowl, and then you whip it up in the kitchen, and then you eat it. Although that sounds good, I don't think it's necessary to put in your backpack. All right, whatever. Why do you have a mug in here? To drink with elegance. Hmm. And the microphone? Random karaoke night at school. That would be fun, but I don't think you should keep that in there. Okay. The crown, Elias. Really, the crown again? I am the king of partying. And why would you need the glasses? Well, I think they look pretty good on me. Valentine's Day was last week. So? And why would you have the disco ball in here? It's broken. Well, I mean, like I said, I am the king of partying. Well, if your backpack looks like this, don't be another Elias. Lighten your load today.